Hi everyone, this is Steve Johnson, and in this three-minute thriller, I want to do something really fun. We're going to pick a Star Wars character, and we're going to do the four following things uh, for a Google Slide. We are going to put a title, two quotes, a background picture, and a foreground picture. You could do this with, with anything, really, historical figures, characters from novels, lots of great things students can do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this slide. I'm going to click on this text box and click Delete. Click on this text box and click Delete. Now. I need to put a background image, so I'm going to go to Insert, and I'm going to go to Image. Um, I want to go ahead, and I want to search for a Star Wars background image. This one looks perfect right here, so I'll click on that, and I'll click Select. Now, upon it entering the slide, I notice it's a little dark. It's going to be hard to put pictures on top of that, uh, and writing, too. So I'm going to go ahead, stretch it out. I'm going to go to Image Options, and I'm going to change the transparency. Okay, it's a lot lighter now. That's perfect, because now what I want to do is I want to put a new image in, so I'll make sure it's on search, and I'm going to put in Boba Fett. So Boba Fett, here he is right here. That's a great picture of him. I'm going to go ahead and click on it, click Select. So now I have my background picture, and I have my foreground picture of my character. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. I need two more things. I need to give it a title, and I need to give it some text of quotes that he says. So I'm going to go to Insert, and I'm going to go to Word Art. I'm going to go Boba Fett, Enter. There's the title, but I need to change it up a bit. I want to go to the font and go to Pacifico, and I want to change the thickness of the border, maybe make it black, and give the Star Wars yellow. That's perfect. I do need to make this a lot smaller, and I want to make sure that it tilts a bit so that it can maybe go right here. Make it a little smaller than that. Okay, so there's my title, there's my picture, there's my background picture, and now I'm going to make a text box. So I can put some quotes. So I'll go ahead and go to more now and my bullet point. And I searched for some uh, quotes. He's no good to be dead. Okay, so he says that. So I'll type in, he's no good to me dead, referring to uh, Han Solo, I'm sure. And then the other quote, um, put Captain Solo in the cargo hold. Okay, put Captain Solo in the uh, cargo hold. I can go ahead and just highlight this, make it a little bit bigger, change the font maybe to 18. Ooh, no, I want to make it bigger. I'm running out of time. This isn't good. There we go. Let's make it 24. Good enough. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and present this. I have uh, my foreground picture, background picture, title. I have two quotes. Probably should have put quotation marks around them, but that's okay. And uh, as you can see, you can do this again for historical figures, characters, and novels. A lot of great things students can do it with.